Hey, what's going on guys? John here. Welcome back to another One Take Daily. Today is March 4th, 2022. And of course, One Take a Day keeps the vibes in check. And today we're going to be keeping the vibe in check about the future of Manchester United, more specifically the future of Manchester United's managerial position. And, and the duel seems to be heavily surrounding the two men in question, Pochettino, Maurizio Pochettino, and of course, Eric Ten Hag. Um, the conversation has been doing the rounds over the past few days about Manchester United making concrete efforts to, to push for Eric Ten Hag, whereas others suggest that they want to chase after uh, somebody like Pochettino. Full disclaimer here, uh, I, I might be coming off biased, but I want to let people know that my heart is already set on Eric Ten Hag. And uh, there are reasonable, logical reasons as to why I want somebody like Eric Ten Hag, a winner, somebody that looks resolute, somebody that looks filled with conviction, uh, somebody that's obviously been showing that uh, that kind of quality at Ajax. Uh, I just feel like Eric Ten Hag um, is uh, somebody that could potentially take Manchester United's future for the long haul. I think his vision in terms of what he sees in the world of football, what he sees in the sport of football itself is, um, I wouldn't say revolutionary, but I think Manchester United can't be going after managers that... I wouldn't even say proven because Maurizio Pochettino hasn't really proven anything just yet. But I think Eric Ten Hag has a bit more potential in terms of coming from this sort of like um, underground, more lower lower level of uh, underdog status as opposed to Maurizio Pochettino, somebody who's obviously taken Spurs to the Champions League final and things of that nature. But the reason why I favor Eric Ten Hag over Pochettino is because first things first, like I said, reasonably... Yeah, uh, I think Eric Ten Hag has just as much potential as Pochettino, but from a non-reasonable sense, I just I just feel a bit more comfortable. Um, I feel more uh, energy uh, in terms of a, a winning mentality from Eric Ten Hag, and I think the reason being is because he's bald. I think bald men, especially with a sick beard, something something about bald men, man, they got they got that look. You know what I'm saying? Like they have that look. Um, and I'm not. I'm not trying to include uh, Sean Dyke in this uh, in this uh, uh, scenario, but something about bald men. But that's obviously me absolutely trolling. Um, Pochettino, I think, uh, to be completely fair, in Pochettino's defense, as much as we like to, uh, we the 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 football fans, especially the Premier League fans, like to troll Pochettino for his um, bottling over um, losing the league against Leicester, um, bottling the Champions League final. Pulling Spursy esque things, that's of course with all due respect to Spurs. I think that kind of mentality needs to be washed from Pochettino if he wants to cement his uh, name as one of the best managers uh, in this current gener in his generation at least. Um, he went to PSG, I think they're going to win, they're going to waltz over the league, and he's going to win the league title with PSG, which, to be quite honest with you, isn't the most difficult of feats. He's got Arguably one of the best players currently in the world in Kylian Mbappe. He's also has Neymar at his disposal. Messi might not be doing so well, but nonetheless, he still has Messi. And that squad is stacked against the Ligue 1 that's not really all that uh, competitive with all due respect. Um, he's going to walk away a league title winner in France, but he hasn't done it in, pa he hasn't done it in the Prem. And that's probably going to be his Achilles heel or that's going to be his biggest challenge if he is to return to Manchester United. And do I want somebody that has that reputation of being a quote-unquote uh, a failure in some respect at Spurs? Maybe. Because I feel like fans just like to sort of roast him based on what he's not been able to achieve. But I think he's still been able to achieve quite a bit under, at Spurs will make, bringing that team up. Post Gareth Bale, that team, they said they had money to spend out the butt. But... They never really did anything with it. They went through lots of managers, especially the the times of Andre, Andres Villas-Boas. We thought it was going to be hot, but all of a sudden, Spurs just seem to be continuing to do Spursy things. And he brought about this energy where Spurs fans and all of the Premier League and, quite frankly, the all of world football were thinking, "Oh wow, could he potentially wash off this Spursy title, the Spursy mentality?" And unfortunately, that wasn't the case, but. He, the fact that he brought him there was already a huge feat in its own. So I think Pochettino also deserves flowers in that respect. Um, and either or, I'll, I'll back the manager. I'll be happy with them. I'm not going to be the one to say that, oh, you know, because we didn't get Eric Ten Hag, I'm gonna, we're going to fail under Pochettino. That's not what I'm saying at all. I think in terms of a personal preference, I would prefer somebody like Eric Ten Hag. I just feel like he has a better uh, winning mentality just from a vibes perspective. And of course, you guys know me. Sometimes I make zero sense. Sometimes I make full sense. But my hunch tends to be on the right side of things. Uh, 
and I just have a better vibe coming off of Eric Ten Hag. But of course, like I said, we're all human. I make mistakes as well. That could just completely be because of the fact that we've been more used to Pochettino's presence. Um, I think what he's, I think from a man management perspective, both uh, both managers seems to be very good. Pochettino in particular seems to be loved by his players, and I think that's very important in this day and age. And that's a key key factor uh, in terms of picking the manager because. Um, a lot of the managers we've selected over the years seems to have a tough time managing players. Um, and it is what it is. We can't accept, well, you know, you might not agree. I might not agree. Whatever the case is, it's just the reality of the truth is that players these days are a different breed of players as opposed to a decade ago or even two decades ago. Uh, and, and that's very key in terms of managing the future of your club. And I think Pochettino, uh, more so than Ten Hag, seems to be a bit more uh, emphasized on, on uh, player management. And Pochettino is great in that respect, but I think Eric Ten Hag does a good job as well. Um, more importantly, I just want the future secured. I just want the future secured, and I want it done as soon as possible. So if we can sign a Ten Hag Pochettino, that's great. I want that signature done ASAP so that they can think about who they can bring in for Manchester United in the future. The longer it takes, the worse it becomes. The one thing we need to know for certain is that the managerial position needs to be secured ASAP. Um, but yeah. Eric Ten Hag is the vibe for me. Who do you guys think? Do you guys want Pochettino? Do you guys want Eric Ten Hag? Y'all let me know in the comments section below. And that's it for today. And I'll see you in the next one.